Hi there folks, as you can see I'm a little dot on the bottom here because I've got the whole crew of Boss Flight Studios here to talk about a little bit of their hacks action figure system and to introduce themselves a little bit. So guys, uh, I'm just going to go down the line and if you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do for Boss Flight. I'm Dave Proctor. Um, I'm uh, one of the sculptors for Boss Fight. I'm Eric Rana. I'm uh, one of the designers for Boss Fight. Katrina Rana, I'm also one of the designers for Boss Fight. Andrew Franks, I'm the last designer for Boss Fight. <laughs> I'm Fred Axon, I'm the other sculptor. And how did you guys start Boss Flight? What's been the kind of biggest thing you've done so far? And how did it lead to the Hacks action figure system? And can you tell us what, a little bit about that? Who wants to go first? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Eric wants to talk. I, I do. <laughs> Uh, we're all we're all ex Hasbro. We we were I have all worked for Hasbro um, in different capacities for the uh, over the years. Um, we split off and started our own company to do our own thing. We still do a lot of work for um, not just Hasbro but some other toy companies as well. We do a lot of stuff for Fun Pub with Fun Pub working on the this year's concept, uh, last year's FSS, the upcoming FSS. So we're, you know, we're always excited to work on Joe. Um, but our big thing coming up is uh, Vitruvian Hacks, which is a um, highly articulated character kit system. And um, it's, it's a line with no limits. We can do whatever we want, whenever we want. It's highly customizable. Um, it's got new articulation, uh, new, new engineering, and so uh, I'll pass it on to somebody else to talk about it a little bit, too. Sure. So we developed a new uh, joint system for the, the, uh, the hips and abdomen to allow for um, very uh, easy customizability for the figures. We wanted to, we're, we're thinking collector-friendly figures that are very easy to customize, uh, so you'd be able to, to, to switch the, uh, the, the, the limbs, the joints, and um, as well as... Uh, we have a we have a new hip system that we're we're um, we haven't yet revealed how exactly how it works, but it will allow you to easily remove the legs and replace them with different legs should you want to do that. So the uh, the first assortment of product the theming is based on Greek mythology, and uh, so we've got sort of based off of a Spartan warrior and a Gorgon. We've got a whole bunch of variations on that. A total of 18, 18 in total. figures are planned. Um, and then, uh, assuming that is successfully funded on Kickstarter, um, we have future waves planned that are all completely different themes um, as well. We're looking at retro sci-fi space and fantasy and stuff like that, so. Now my one last question is, What's the favorite figure that each of you have either designed or just like in your line that you've put together so far? Your personal favorite and you want to see sell the most and beat everybody else's? My personal favorite is going to have to be the Spartan Warrior. <laughs> Something I've wanted to make forever. Yeah, it's kind of a, this is kind of hit, itch, hit, itching, a, uh, hitting, scratching an itch I've had for years, so. So itchy. <laughs> My, my favorite is probably the uh, the Steno that I designed with her giant, very long, big cobra hair. <laughs> um, my favorite is definitely the Celestial pair that are going to be cast in clear, and they're going to um, be replicating actual uh, constellations. Um, it was kind of a last-minute brainstorm that uh, I just think it's going to be great. I hope it turns out the way we want it to. <laughs> Um, I'm really partial to a lot of the Gorgon army builders, not one in particular, but the skull helmet just came out so great, and the, uh, the brighter, m very varied colors on them, um, I think are just really cool, and I'm excited about those. My favorite's gotta be the Myrmidon, I think it's a cool design, and it's badass. <laughs> 
All right, Bro Patrol, that's our interview with Boss Flight Studios. Make sure to check out their Kickstarter link that I'm going to put right at the bottom of the show here and fund these figures. We definitely want to see these hit the market as soon as possible. You know, I always say, just bro it. Do a good deed today. Send them some money. We want their figures. Can you guys do one more quick favor? Can you say, just bro it for me, like really loud? And that'll tell people to go ahead and donate money for you. So, we'll, yeah, just bro it. It's my good deed today. thing. So, five, four... Just throw it. Fred, why aren't you here? Come on. Get down here. Right now. Do it. Everybody's doing it. I offered it in my room, but he wouldn't come. I don't understand.